So, final Drift Club event. Welcome back here to the channel. Just turn it. Down the stairs. Oh, just go straight down the stairs. Okay. So we gotta get 10,000 drift points in all wheel drive. Focus. Definitely not this my strong suit. Two liter, turbocharged, front mounted engine, and all wheel drive. I mean, we already got 10,000, so. I will be the voice in you ahead. <laughs> oh, definitely not. All wheel drive drifter. The narrow streets, the cathedral square. The roads are closed, right? Oh, yes. Our newest member, Pablo, organized it. I have a feeling the roads are actually not closed. So, as you guys can tell, drifting and all-wheel drive. Not my strongest suit. Oh, wait, what? Where was I supposed to... Oh, was it... Where was I supposed to go? Probably under the tunnel. Yep, that's what we were supposed to do. Drifting all-wheel drive is definitely a challenge. More power sliding. Now follow the tunnels. Watch the walls. They're snacky. They're smacky? I like that. I'm trying. Left, left hand fork. Mm. He was a little low late on that left fork. I need a new navigator. The wife <laughs> still slightly confused why they'd give us an all-wheel drive car to finish it off, but then again, Maki is all-wheel drive. Coming up on the end, and a peek at the future of drifting. <laughs> peek at the future of drifting. Well, we completed that challenge pretty easily, I feel. So, I've got a bit of a confession. You see, there it is. We've got another car for you to have a look at. Hmm. Is that what I think it is? It's a new Mach E. The RTR Ford Mustang Mach E 1400. The first fully electric drift and Gymkhana platform. Should we take it out for a bit of a spin? Yes. That's what we're here to do. I'm wondering how this is going to work. This car was customized by drift legend and engineering wizard, Mr. Vaughn Gitten Jr. And the fine people at so RTR. So there is a Why? way to change it. To answer that age old question, what is the future oh, of ho, 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 ho. oversteer? Oh, I really like the fact you could switch it to rear wheel drive. What's up, Rob? Looks like you two are having a lot of fun with that car. Oh, yes. Vaughn, it's quite a piece of work. Could I perhaps press you for your impressions working on it? Ooh. For the members. Getting behind the wheel of the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400 completely changed my perspective on what power and torque can be. Together, my team at RTR Vehicles and Ford Performance spent over 10,000 hours working collaboratively on this to bridge the gap between what people believe an electric car can do and what it can actually do. Turns out, it is well beyond my wildest expectations. The Mustang Mach-E 1400 uses seven motors, three on the front differential and four on the rear, giving us 1,400 That's horsepower. That's a lot of power. This so car is so much fun. From drifting to high-speed track racing. Every piece of aero and every duct you see is functional for aerodynamics and cooling. This car makes 2,300 pounds of downforce at 160 miles per hour. A lot Ford's of made downforce. That they are bringing fun and function to the battery electric vehicle space. And this is just the start. I've watched even the most seasoned vets turn into giggly little kids behind the wheel and in the passenger seat of this wild machine. So, mission accomplished. I'm definitely having a lot of fun with this car. I like the fact that you can change it We're to rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. But as you've noticed, we've been running in all-wheel drive mode with all seven motors. No, we haven't. So, for the next bit, let's try something different. 
We have not been driving it in all-wheel drive. I've been driving it in rear-wheel drive. I was smart and changed it right off the rip. Oh, if it had a little more steering lock, it'd be amazing. But this car's definitely a lot of fun getting a chance to actually rip this thing. I've been seeing a lot of it, so it's finally fun to actually get that a chance to drive it. all wheel drive. The motor layout allows you to change drivetrain, essentially, at the push of a button. Well, I felt like we did that. So, just toggle it over from all-wheel drive into rear-wheel drive, shutting down the front motors, <laughs> and then off we go. The fastest drivetrain swap you will ever do. I mean... I'm gonna switch it back to all the drive since we drove it in rear wheel drive. Let's probably drive it in rear wheel drive or all the drive just to see. The all wheel drive actually does not feel that bad. Nice right left opportunity ahead. Careful as you manage the inertia transfer. I actually like it in all the drive. It actually drives pretty well in all the drive. Oh, as I say that, we go into the wall. So we're gonna switch back to rear wheel drive. Very hard left, then right, then sideways into the tunnel. I don't know why I would try to switch gears. It is a uh, single gear. This all straight power. I think we need to. Uh, Do a little first person in it. Ooh. This is definitely so, so worth the wait. I don't know how. That still bothers me that, you know, we only go 90 degrees in horizon with the steering wheel. Ahead you, and we're heading for where we started. Are you going to give me this car? That would be sweet. Please give me this car. Would love to make a full drive around the city with it. Where did the battery dies in the game? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have this car or whatnot. I don't know if you can actually get it, but we're going to find out soon. On behalf of Drift Club Mexico, as well as RTR and Ford Performance, let me thank you for this show of the noble art of intentional can, oversteer. Can you just give me the car? That's what I want. So, we thought you might like to keep the yes. Mach E. Yes. There we go. That's amazing. But wait, won't Vaughn want it back, though? Oh, this is an exact duplicate of his. Huh. Let's just say I'm a bit excitable, too. I mean, I will take the Mach E. In a heartbeat. So we're going to need to change to the Maki. -E. Hopefully, it actually gave us the Maki. -E. I don't think it did. I may have to buy the Maki. -E. So I don't think it actually gave it to me. I'm going to find out when it actually gives it to me. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the... Wait, there it is. No, I think it's there. I think I may have found the accolade. Where is it? No. There it is. Maki. Well, now you already know we're just going to get in the Maki and do a little city ripping the end episode off. I know I was saying we were ending it off, but you know what? We're going to get in that Maki. There you are. So, like I said, if you guys are rocking the Maki, are you liking it? Not liking it? Definitely a fun car. Definitely enjoying the being able to switch. Gonna take this to the mountain road because I would be very curious how this thing does on that mountain road. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments. It's just so crazy just to basically not hear anything with this car. Let's 
cards actually really quick. So as I said before, make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of the in the description box below. And as always, I uh, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>